have a section six notice. It's 6 a.m. on Sunday the 12th of February. We've posted this all around the premises to show that we are taking occupancy of the site and we have a right to do so. This is Lineborough Farm and this one's just about to get stuck up. Okay guys on the other side of the hedge, I just want to explain the situation in case you haven't got it. What we've got here is called a section six and that means you can't try and evict us at this point. You'd have to go into a legal process or the owners would. And it would be an offence if you tried to evict us. And because our solicitors told you that, we would then sue you and, and you'd be personally liable. We, we don't want that to happen. We want to be friends while we're here. The owners of this land intend to destroy every habitat and ecosystem before they've been given permission to build a nuclear power station. So before they have permission to build, they intend to begin the second largest construction site in Europe at this time. Basically, that either means that they are grossly negligent and have no respect for their own property, which is the common heritage of everyone in Somerset, or they believe that they are going to get that permission, in which case there is no democratic control over planning decisions anymore in this country. It's bad for the air. It's bad for people. And all these types of stuff can make very dangerous weapons. Okay, I'm here well, on the proposed site of, of Hinkley C, the first of a, a new generation of nuclear power stations that well, the nuclear industry want to build in the UK. And yeah, this is the, the site where it's going to be won or lost, basically. <laughs> so here we are, Hinkley Point, not A, not B but C, this is where Hinkley Point C reactor is going to be. We're here today to stand up for democracy, to say that we don't want nuclear power, and to say that um, what's gone on with the government and the way they've made their decisions about the nuclear and changing the planning process and making their own evidence about all of this stuff, this is wrong whether you like nuclear or don't like nuclear. A pretty clear political choice at the moment between renewables, feed-in tariff, everybody makes their own electricity, gets their own income for it, or huge big nuclear power stations. The, this government's Green Deal, new Green Deal for insulating buildings, is transforming what used to be grants into loans, and that their own estimates are that that will reduce by 90% the amount of lofts that are getting insulated in the next year. Now, if that carries on for a few years, that's probably going to become equivalent to the amount of power they're going to generate with this power station. So which one's more sensible. It's important to think about where the uranium is actually being sourced to supply a plant like this. Um, at the moment there is a uranium rush in countries like Namibia for example in southern Africa. So I think another aspect of this is that we need to be aware of um, how the impacts of a development like this one is going to affect both the environment here but also the environments in countries elsewhere. In 1607 there was a tidal wave that came up the Bristol Channel and went as far as Glastonbury, killing possibly as many as 2,000 people. And we've seen what happened in Fukushima. There are no guarantees with this technology. There may be an accident that happens. And because we know that this is an area where there can be tidal waves and tsunamis, we're taking a risk with the future. The alternative is renewables. Last year in Germany they put in the equivalent of one nuclear power station in one year of renewables. The Germans do it, why can't we do it? We just need you all, come now, please come here and help us defend this place. EDF know we're here, they can't do anything until they can take us to court, so come and join us, help resist the Renaissance and come and take the land back, take the power back. The power of the individual, I do know through doing street stalls, week after week after week, one person can make a difference. People think this is a done deal. The EDF think it's a done deal. The council here think it's a done deal and the government has said, yeah, you can build it. They've been given permission to start the work before they've been give, given permission to finish it and they want to destroy all this site. We're here to say it isn't a done deal, actually, 
Actually, this is the beginning of a resistance against this nuclear power station. And we think that what people need to see is that people are prepared to stand up and fight. That's why we're here, and that's why we want you to get involved. Come down here. This whole site is crisscrossed with public rights of way. Anyone can come in, east, west, south, north. You can come in here, you can join us, you can walk around, and you can find your own place to camp. There's the magical molecule Hanging round with the same spent fuel Tragic comical killer jewels it's the magical molecule I know you want to come back here To hit what you did With a trillion dollar dustbin lid You got a senile husband Ecologist for your paid up PR apologist But you're a working dad man Not a bad man Maybe a madman You're surely a sad man I follow the fat man I one of the lads man A concrete clad and a thousand rats man I thought we made it perfectly clear We didn't want you back round here No, I don't need to take another look Nuclear power!